Greetings, traveler. Beast, Demon, Pirate, Cobra Undead. Jandis with Sanders is absolutely batshit crazy broken. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Undead are in for Murgle. It's probably just money with Tethys. This could even be a Sanguine Champion game. Weaver is actually a pretty legit hero for Chandis because uh, Picky Eater is a good swap target. I'm gonna start Weaver then. I could swap Braggart back in the shop as well. I want uh, Picky Eater. That's not bad. But not good enough, I think. Everything goes according to my plan. I went full time after a year, but I was still living at home, right? So I had very little expenses. So I moved out when I was streaming for like three years or something. So that was a very that was a very nice way of being able to do that. Buying a card here doesn't really do that much. I think I roll for Picky Eater, and if I hit it, we can play Swap. If not, we'll just tear. Unlucky. Damn, dude. Not a single demon after buying two Weavers with so many rolls. Hey, Tunnel Vision. Welcome. Yeah, Rewinder is fantastic. All right, so if we don't hit, this might have to be a bit more of a defensive game, where we just try to get a top three, top four. Or we just roll the picky eater. Let's go, King of Boys. Let's go. We're in it to win it. We. Oh. All right. We do want Rewinder, because it's going to get quite pricey. <laughs> To play demons like this. Janice is one of my oldest heroes that I'm really comfortable on. She used to be played purely for Alley Cat and for Tide Hunter. But if you play enough Janice games, you have a lot of games where you don't hit Alley Cat or Tide Hunter. <laughs> you have to learn what to do if you don't hit. So Weavers and Swap Demons is a pretty good alternative. Swapping a jug or a mug, right? And then then the hero becomes insanely good because if you hit the token, you kind of just win. And if you don't hit the token, it's okay. All right, we take zero because of our weavers. Yeah. The good old times where you would just... Janice would get two five drops on eight gold. <laughs> that was her standard curve. Two five drops on eight gold with Alley Cat or Tide Hunter. I think you still swap Pick Eater, because if you eat your triple, it's fine. Kind of want to save it for a bigger minion anyway. But if I swap into it, we're obviously fine with that. My turn just sucks if I don't do this, so I don't really want to play weird and... What would I, what would I even have to do? I have to swap the sewer rat, see if I hit the triple. If I do... Eh, it doesn't... Actually, I would just level sell by, right? Subscription sound is a plague scientist or plague doctor from standard, well, arena. Not sure if it was a standard card, really. Calm down! I'm a doctor! <laughs> Magic. Hmm. It's probably brand with Jandus. Tachondrius, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Jesus, give me... Well, Tachondrius is good here, but we kind of just kill ourselves. Oh, I can make seven drops by swapping the faceless. Still gonna bite us then. Yeah. I take four, but we get quite big. 
We just keep farming until we have Sanders, and then we use Sanders on the brand, and then we swap Sanders. And then we make our board gold, and we golden brand, and just wee, wee. It's good that they made two big guys instead of one very big guy, because then they could have, well, I guess tie, not beat me. So do I buy this? I guess I still do, yeah. Let's see if I get Silverwinder. If I hit a Coiler for free, I'm not going to be sad. But we go for the 7 drop, right? Just have to evolve that again next turn, I think. This one just sucks. Oh, but if I swap into it, I can evolve it on my board. Why not Percussionist? Talked about it. Champion sucks, Sanders sucks, Braggart sucks. So battle cry is the short answer, battle cry. Yeah, recurring nightmare, it ruined me a couple games ago. Well, not a couple days ago. Um, I had recurring nightmare as well when I evolved and it was just the only useless one. It's trying to lose me the game. I'm still gonna evolve it on the board, I think. But it's really trying to lose me the game now. Yeah, now I don't get these gems. We have Banner Boar with the Sanguine. We're gonna swap Sanguine in the shop every turn now. So I guess Banner Boar is gonna be legit. So I don't really need this anymore. So we're playing gem comp. Next turn, Giga Gems. Should have buffed the brand instead of the Weaver, but it's okay. It's good that I was able to just very clearly see, like, okay, what matters? You're about to get really big gems. Make gems. Okay, good job. <laughs> like, that matters. Okay, getting gems matters. 50-50 for taking zero here. Oh, that's not true. The skull is big enough. It's okay though, we're in a good spot. Even though we're on 30 and I would have rather had more. This is uh, pretty sweet. <sighs> Do I give a shit? I guess if I swap into a winder, sure, why not, right? Yeah, that would be the only time where I really care. Do I have a percussionist with this, but does that ever matter? So this is gonna be on the board, it's gonna be on the board. Now I have to sell a card I don't wanna sell, right? I feel like I just make a big bonker so the bonker can milk more. Yeah, this turn is just level play, and then all gems here. So I'm gonna have big bonker. That's probably okay like this. I guess I am playing this, so. Take a damage. Ah, the sweet taste of your opponent's defeat. Isn't buffing champ kind of bad? You want it to die? You don't want it to die to cleave because then you get no Rylak value. 
The champion dying is only plus one, plus one. The Rylak is plus two, plus two because of Bran. So it's more important to make it not die to cleave. Also, it's the unit you're keeping for a while. It's just positioning wise, it makes more sense. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. We're giga buffing chats. This is a gem game. Let's go. I probably still have to run Murgul later, but and, and a cleave. <gasps> oh my god! We had everything. All right. See you later. Thank you so very much for being on my board. I think I actually just go for the Giga 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 Greed for one turn. Actually, I'm still swapping Champion though, right? I was gonna swap the Reborn, but that doesn't make sense. Let me just swap Champion, get my guaranteed gems buffed here. <laughs> the game is like, now you have to play Rylak. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you got to. You got to play the Rylak. It's, it's right there, buddy. You gotta do it. So I'm not leveling. Uh, da, 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 da. I could put gems on a feather main and play banana. That's actually not bad because I'll have this Rylak forever, right? This positioning is a bit weird, but... Yeah, here's the cleave. That's why some buffs on it is fine, usually. <laughs> ah! Oh my god. This is also good for scam. I just have a 50-50 in my hand. Oh, look at the gems, chat. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, please die. Oh, it's dying too with the Titus. Let's go, dude. So we are a gem enthusiast at this point. Oh, dude, one extra gem is plus 25-25. Jesus. Dude, swapping the swapping the guy is not even that important anymore. So banner bore is plus 50-50. <laughs> just saying that out loud, right? I think banner bore just goes here, right? Buff the boys. Keep the boys alive. Um so what matters? What really, really matters? Charlie, right? Charlie matters, but I probably still take my buff, right, as small as it is, because I don't really have money to do anything else. I'm not going to play duo, you know, because now I can do this, sell, level, buy, play, put this here. I could make the bonker bigger so I can milk more, but a huge Titus is almost never bad. Oh, I can play Cultist, Motley, Titus... Gems on Motley, resummon Motley as well. And it works with this because Motley is a beast. Yeah, Big Titus is almost never bad. It's really hard to be sad about a Big Titus. I'm going to put him here then just in case they have a cleave or something. What if we hold the gems? Oh, I can hold one, sure. Holding all is a bit Pepe guy, I'd say. Because you are up against the uh, undead, so they can have a lot of attack. They made Golden Brand. They got Sanders, so. This is so sweet, dude. So much milk. Yeah, if I find Sanders, I can swap Sanders and make my board golden. Even this little Feathermane is kind of good, right? It helps me deal with Murgles and shit. 
I like that we put the gems on it. 3939, chat. 3939. Now that are some big boy gems. So we can hit Golden Rylak or we could find Sanders and start buffing everything. Oh. Oh. 160 to a minion of our choice. The little feather main, yeah. The little feather main. This is almost not worth it. Almost. I think you still do it. Wait, do you just swap? Do you switch swap this guy? You buy it. That's for sure, right? Plus 80, plus 80 on a minion of our choice. A bit annoying to get that. Oh. I think I hold the Titus. Nah, we would just sell out of this, right? All right, we got Bristlebok now. Okay, okay, Brand is big enough. Nice. An another Titus is insane because we get so much value. This is so good, chat. Oh my god. We are having such a good time here. <laughs> I think now I just roll it down. Golden Titus. Get the... Maybe Selfless Hero. But mainly Charlie and Bristlebox and shit. Because it's so dumb now. This still dies, right? Yeah. It's actually so big, Jesus, dude. The fucking Eliza. It's a bit of a meme comp, but it's doing enough work. No! The value? Now my gems are only 63 health! <laughs> oh no! Everybody's dying, chat! Quickly! Quickly! Alright, so I can play Kulthist if I want to, but I don't think I'm going to. I think we're just going to play Bristlebok, roll for this. I'm not even going to swap this anymore. We're going to play Charlie, Bristlebok. Wait, if I swap this into Charlie, do I like that or not? So this is out this turn, always. Yeah? So I can buy Charlie and roll, or I can swap. Yeah. It doesn't really matter, right? It doesn't really matter that I get plus two, plus two, right? I guess I just swap this then, and maybe I... High roll to Charlie, right? Yeah. I think that's better. Just buy this and roll. Because I'm not going to play the Banner Bore anymore. Gem transfer? Oh my god. I guess I just sell the Feather Man. Fuck it. Do I care about Selfless Heroes? Maybe I don't. No. Oh, yeah, I needed to hold Charlie in my hand. Wait, wait, they have poisons, they have poisons. They have poisons, we're fine, we're fine. Unless this would have died. Oh, man, we actually got lucky. We actually got really lucky there. No! Selfless Hero is probably the right play, by the way. I'm playing this a little bit too... too meme-y.
The Omo is giant, I guess, right? With demons. Might be resummoning. It's only 75 HP per gem chat. I'm so sorry. So the infinite pirate player is large. Okay. Let's have some fun chats. I might swap Necrolites. <laughs> it's a bit late for that, right? Yeah. Would have been fun though. Get a cleave. You can sell one uh, Rylak, that's for sure. I guess I still have to swap this in. Just for board space. Only 1,000. It's actually okay. Dragons are out. They can't easily proc this. It's actually okay, yeah. We could play selfless if they're not dead. I think they're gonna die, yeah. Come on, GG. <sighs> Sick game. 83 on the gems. We could have definitely played this cleaner. I could have probably gone for selfless, big selfless, but it's kind of a tough tough uh last turn or two figuring out what's optimal. But let's be honest, that was a fun game, right?